Congratulations, Mr. President. A historic inaugural in an unprecedented time. Joe Biden becomes the 46th President of the United States. Hello, I'm Denise Cope. And I'm Vic Carter. Amid tremendous security, President Biden looks to unify a divided country. WJZ has team coverage. We're going to begin with Natalie Brand reporting from Washington, D.C. This is an inauguration unlike any other between the pandemic and unprecedented level of security. But that did not take away from the significance and the symbolism. President Biden calling it a day of renewal and resolve. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. After taking the presidential oath of office, President Joseph R. Biden declared democracy has prevailed. I will be a president for all Americans. All Americans. Former presidents Barack Obama, George W. Bush, and Bill Clinton were on hand for the transfer of power, as well as outgoing Vice President Mike Pence. So help me God. So help me God. Pence's successor, Kamala Harris, made history, becoming not only the first woman, but the first black person and first person of South Asian descent to become vice president. Speaking at the Capitol just two weeks after rioters stormed the building, the 46th president said unity is the only path forward. My whole soul is in this, bringing America together, uniting our people, uniting our nation. And I ask every American to join me in this cause. While well, today was steeped in tradition, only a small socially distanced group attended the ceremony because of the coronavirus pandemic and increased security concerns. The National Mall, usually crowded with supporters, was instead filled with flags. On stage, a bipartisan show of star power. Amazing grace. Notably absent, former President Donald Trump, who declined to greet his successor as he hinted at a political return. We will be back in some form. I wish the new administration great luck and great success. But Mr. Trump departed for Florida before festivities began. After arriving at the White House, President Biden will launch his administration with more than a dozen executive actions addressing issues from the pandemic to climate change. That includes an order calling for a nationwide mask and social distancing mandate at federal buildings. Other actions will directly target and reverse some of the Trump administration's actions on the environment, immigration, and regulatory changes. On Capitol Hill, I'm Natalie Brand. Back to you. And this afternoon, Governor Hogan issued a statement after he attended the inauguration. It reads in part, Today it was my honor to attend the inauguration of Joe Biden on behalf of the people of Maryland as he was sworn in as our 46th president. Through the orderly and peaceful transfer of power, we show the world that the Constitution, the rule of law, and the will of the people ultimately prevail in the United States of America. Our live team coverage continues now with Sean Stryker. And he is live now. He has more on the pomp and circumstance of today's ceremony. Sean? Yeah, well, there wasn't the crowds. Instead, nearly 200,000 flags, and the parade was held virtually. Nevertheless, at the end of the day, everyone was there to celebrate our new president. An inauguration like none other, featuring plenty of celebrity faces, many of whom campaigned for President Joe Biden. Lady Gaga performed the national anthem rocking an eye-catching outfit, complete with a golden dove holding an olive branch. This land is your land. Jennifer Lopez sang This Land is Your Land and America the Beautiful, while Garth Brooks belted out Amazing Grace, pausing to encourage everyone to sing along. People at home at work as one united. Amazing grace. A powerful moment was provided by poet Amanda Gorman when she read The Hill We Climb. We lay down our arms so we can reach out our arms to one another. We seek harm to none and harmony for all. At 22 years old, she's the youngest poet to perform at an inauguration. And at 22, the youngest.
Now, now, of course, the celebration continued throughout the day. The parade across the Americas, which you were just watching on CBS, and of course later tonight, that primetime special celebrating America with plenty of celebrity appearances. That starts at 8.30. You can watch it tonight on WJZ. Reporting live, Sean Stryker for WJZ. Thank you, Sean. Well, you may have noticed a lot of handshakes and hugs during today's inauguration. It's not that coronavirus precautions were, not be, were being ignored, but all the dignitaries who attended today's ceremony, including former Presidents Obama, Clinton, and Bush, all had to test negative for the virus twice in the last 72 hours.